for the public. There was a press conference this morning uh, by critics of the uh, the voter in-state, out-of-state residency issue with the, the universities. Um, what's the reason for that being added to the bill in the first place? Well, uh, first of all, that's an evolution over time. When I first came here, people who were uh, coming in from New York or some other place uh, could not vote in Ohio. Then there were federal court decisions and other peculiar things, and uh, so that was permitted. The real issue is, for local areas in particular, what happens after somebody from New York City registers to vote? How do they vote on the uh, school levy? How do they vote on the sheriff's race? And so forth. Uh, obviously, it would be possible for people to become knowledgeable in those areas, uh, but there is, a, to me, a significant question about what the, uh, particular levies, uh, what the result of having people who don't have to pay for them uh, would, uh, would do in terms of adopting those things. So is this to discourage them from participating, or is it to, or is it to level the playing field with other, stu other students? How is well, it's, it's, it's to level the playing field in terms of who gets to vote on local issues in particular. Uh, I know, I can remember when this first started, it was uh, in, uh, would have been 70. And uh, um, very frankly, uh, I don't think most of our folks thought that you could do that up until it was done. And uh, it began down in uh, Athens County, to the best of my recollection, but uh, it's a long time ago. <laughs> Do you have any reason to believe that a university is going to be less likely to give a letter or a utility bill as a result of this amendment? Not on the basis of uh, the studies I've seen on how faculty vote. On how faculty vote? Yes. I mean, I think there will be encouragement uh, from the administration okay. uh, in that regard. The universities estimate now that this will cost them about $370 million a year in tuition uh, payments. Because they expect that everybody who is out of state will demand one of these letters just so they can get the in-state tuition. Uh, they say there's no money added to the budget to cover that cost. Uh, what, what is your response to their economic concern on this? I don't have a, a response. Uh, I'm obviously going to talk to the President of the Senate, uh, and we'll see. Uh, obviously, the bill is not in front of us. It's in front of the Senate. That's a rather uh, gigantic uh, amount of money, and uh, I, ju I just couldn't respond to it. I, I don't know what to say.